most foreign leaders are delicate when presented the opportunity to criticize Donald Trump to his face not Bolivian President Evo Morales Trump was forced to sit through a lengthy tongue lashing from Morales on Wednesday at a meeting of the UN Security Council that the US president hosted it's likely the harshest any foreign leader has ever spoken to Trump in public I would like to say to you frankly and openly here that in no way is the United States interested in upholding democracy Morales said through a translator. Morales is a well-known agitator at the UN with long-standing anti-American sentiments. He has in the past attacked the US for its interventions in the Middle East, including the Iraq War, the toppling of Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi and the civil war in Syria. But on Wednesday he rebuked Trump's foreign and domestic policies alike asserting that the U.S. president's treatment of other countries and immigrants is callous. The United States could not care less about human rights or justice, Morales said. If this were the case, it would have signed the international conventions and treaties that have protected human rights. It would not have threatened the investigation mechanism of the International Criminal Court, nor would it promote the use of torture, nor would it have walked away from the Human Rights Council, and nor would it have separated migrant children from their families nor put them in cages. Tracking Trump, here's what the U.S. president and his White House are up to. Morales, a former COCA union leader who once led nationwide protests before reaching the presidency, has in the past backed late Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez's criticism of the U.S. Morales was in position to criticize Trump because Bolivia holds one of the ten non-permanent slots on the Security Council. Trump decided to chair the meeting as part of a broader attempt to build international support for a pressure campaign targeting Iran. But Bolivia and other countries on the council rejected Trump's view that the Iran nuclear accord negotiated by his predecessor, Barack Obama was horrible and one-sided. Bolivia categorically condemns the unilateral actions imposed by the government of the United States of America against Iran, Morales said. Likewise, we condemn the fact that the United States has withdrawn from the JCPOA, hiding behind pretext to continue its policy of interference of its brother country, Iran. Trump who treated world leaders to his own list of grievances during his address to the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday, didn't offer much of a response to Morales. Thank you, Mr. President, he said, before ceding the floor to the Peruvian representative. Thanks Tolis Alaranipa and Jennifer Epstein for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com. Once again that is www.atthismall.com. Dot com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice, that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now.com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below. Please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.